Colon cancer has an incidence of about 100,000 new cases diagnosed annually. Of those 100,000 cases, only a small proportion are hereditary. About 10% is kind of the common statistic that's quoted in the literature. It's important to separate those 10% though because they really do have important ramifications for the affected individual and perhaps some of their offspring or family members. Screening for hereditary colon cancer is really important because it can help identify presymptomatic or asymptomatic individuals within the family. Furthermore, using a comprehensive approach like the test that we've developed here really helps to further clarify which patients might actually have a hereditary colorectal cancer disorder. In the population of newly diagnosed colon cancers, there's a proportion that are known as familial cases where they suspect there may be a hereditary component, but there's not a very obvious gene that could or should be ordered uh, to describe the cancer in that family. And then there are more of the classical hereditary colorectal cancer syndromes. The panel that we've put, to put together combines some of these common genes with some of the rare hereditary disorders. And so profiling individuals who we suspect to have a hereditary colorectal cancer syndrome, but maybe not one of the classical hereditary colorectal cancer syndromes would really benefit from this style of testing.